The last effect is vertex map. For doing that, I create a simple uh, plane here. <coughs> I increase the number of the polygon and make them editable or click the C. Then uh, I can, with a paint brush, I paint some brush <coughs> here, selecting some polygon. For example, a simple holding shift to see. Okay. <coughs> and I want to convert it to the vertex map. You can go to select and no selection no yeah that's down you can set vertex weight vertex weight i explained it before make sure that 100 uh, percent and we have create a paint from the selection and you can see in the tag if you select the tag you can see it but if you deselect it you cannot see it. this is our uh, vertex map tag I create a vertex map out, out selection. <clears throat> and if you render, you cannot see anything because it's just a map. For doing that, we can bring a material and assign it to that. And the first thing first, um, the usage of the vertex map is a color that's not very useful. You can go here and vertex map. Uh, if you click the vertex map, that's you have to define the vertex that you created here. Click and drag it, and you can face just black and white image. That is very useful. You can use it in a bump. You can use it in the displacement. It's very useful when you select some polygon. You can convert this selection to the map, to the texture. The usage of this vertex map is that, <clears throat> or you can invert it. So you have black and white image. You can use black and white code all of these channels displacement the white point the white part is going up the <clears throat> uh, black point is going down you can see them very easily it's very simple for example you can uh, copy this and then put it in displacement now you can see <clears throat> with selection and then you can see we have no uh, polygon changing we have displacement of that selection which will if you want to use if you want to colorize the vertex map you can add a layer on top of that go into the layer and here is our vertex map you can go to the shader and click color <clears throat> in a color you can change the color and for seeing the vertex map below you can change them for example to multiply and now you can change the color of white code to the, another color that you want. you can change the color nice you can clear that another usage of the vertex map is in an alpha channel that you can cut because it's black and white you can simply paste that vertex map and now you can see we cut the object not uh, really we have a polygon but we cut the object our, our selection we use the, this vertex map that we painted here with the selection give it to the vertex map and give the vertex map to the alpha channel and cut it now you can see this is our plane we select this part and because of the alpha channel we delete all of the selection the polygon is there, but in the render, you cannot see other polygon because we assign it to the alpha. I will be explaining alpha more. Okay, this is the usage of the vertex map.